Hi, Paul Thompson here from Spitfire with a Christmas tip. Um, there's 24 hours to go until the wish list closes, so stuff your wish list full of all kinds of goodies, whatever you fancy, and Santa will visit on Christmas Day. So here we're going to use the new Smart Tempo feature of Logic. Now I've opened up the um, Smart Tempo preferences and all I've done is to trim the start of new regions. You don't have to do that, but, but that's um, I, I like doing it because it kind of helps. Um, you need to switch to Adapt Project Tempo for kind of listening mode. You can do that up here as well. Okay, so you see what's happened. Logic has had a good old go at trying to work out what I was playing, what the tempo map should be. And down here, we're in the smart tempo view and we can see exactly what's going on. So let's have a quick listen and see what gives. Okay, so it started to go there. Now, as you hover over these points, you'll see there are a couple of different options. Move all is the simplest fix uh, for if, for example, you have a pickup, da, 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 you can, it'll think that the first note you play is bar one, beat one. So you can just move all, uh, it's kind of macro fix, the first fix to do. You've got scale left, move right, scale selection, move marker, and set downbeat. Set downbeat is if you, if you want to tell it where the downbeat is at any one point and everything else will follow. So we don't want to use that. We can move individual markers like this, um, or we can scale within the bar like this, and then we've got scale left and move right. So we can scale stuff in the le to the left of where we are and move everything to the right just along a bit. We can move a few of these just to get them slightly closer. Um, let's move that marker there. I'm going to move this one all the way over here, and then we're going to scale and just see see what happens from here. Four. Okay, so that's three over here. So let's just move a couple of these and get kind of closer to where we want to be. Okay. Right, let's try that. Now, when we've finished playing stuff in, when we've finished our, our performance, we go back to keep project tempo because that locks in the changes that we, we don't want a logic to listen to us anymore. We just want to lock in everything that we've put in there. We can still go in and adjust stuff in the tempo editor as usual, um, but it stops it listening to you. You can do this with audio as well, but it's quite a new feature that you're able to do it with MIDI and it's pretty accurate. It's actually pretty clever um, the way that it works it out. So it's very, very useful to free yourself from the tyranny of the click. You control the click. Don't let the click control you and you'll get a more musical result. So I hope that quick tip was useful. Don't forget 24 hours left to fill your Christmas wish list and Santa will visit on Christmas Day. I hope you're enjoying the holiday season. Thank you very much for watching and look forward to seeing you on the next one. Bye bye.